the opioid crisis. Deaths from drug overdose reached an all-time high in 2020 in the United States. Sadly, this flower is at the root of the crisis. But the bark of this tree may be part of the solution. The pygmy tribes of Central Africa were the first to discover the psychoactive effects of the root bark of the iboga tree. They in turn passed it on to the Bwiti tribe in Gabon, who revere and employ it in cultural and spiritual ceremonies. Howard Lotsoff, an American scientist who also happened to be a heroin addict, discovered the substance's anti-addictive effects by accident. Lotsoff co-authored many papers documenting the substance's remarkable ability to wean people off chemical dependence. A flood dose, lingo for a dose high enough to induce altered consciousness. The first phase in treatment, commonly known as the dream phase, lasts for about four hours, and as the name suggests, is a waking dream state where intense visions are often experienced. These are unique to each individual and may revolve around certain events, fears, and negative emotions that led to the addiction in the first place. The second phase is psychotherapeutic, an analysis of the experience where insights are unpacked and solidified. It appears that Ibogaine is able to bind to low-functioning serotonin and dopamine receptor sites, normalizing their function and restoring them to pre-abuse levels. Almost all withdrawal pain and discomfort is removed for most opiate-addicted patients. For many, it is the only way to get from completely dependent to completely free in a matter of days. It's not for everyone. Ibogaine is associated with heart complications such as arrhythmia, as well as seizures, gastrointestinal issues, and ataxia, a lack of muscle coordination that can make movement and speech difficult. According to a 2012 study, 19 deaths outside of West Africa have been associated with Ibogaine between 1990 and 2008. Most were due to pre-existing conditions, especially those relating to the cardiovascular system. As a safety precaution, it is important to screen for existing medical conditions, most importantly those that relate to cardiovascular and liver health. Ibogaine should be administered under strict medical observation and monitored continuously through an ECG. Ibogaine cannot definitively stop the addiction cycle, but research and anecdotes suggest that it does a very good job interrupting it. Psychable does not encourage illegal activity, including the illegal sale, purchase, or use of controlled substances. Psychable content is for informational purposes only, and is not intended to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Always seek the advice of your physician or other qualified health provider with any questions you may have regarding a medical condition. Never disregard professional medical advice or delay seeking it because of something you've seen in a psychable video. If you are experiencing a health emergency, immediately call 911.